So today is a really exciting day. It's 16th of September and Apple is going to roll out the iOS 14 to all the consumer devices in the market. As I try to update my iPhone, unfortunately the update isn't, isn't available. So what I did was I had it on my iPad and I'm just going to show you how to update iOS 14 on the iPad. So guys, this is my iPad and I had been running the beta versions of iOS on this iPad. So today I'm going to show you how to install iOS 14 on your iPad. So before we update the iOS 14 on the iPad, just make sure to go into settings and type backup in the settings and do backup your iPad. So after that, you can go into settings and over here, you need to go into general and software update. So in the software update, you'll see that it says iPad OS 14. So it is a major update from Apple, which I would recommend everybody who has an iPad or an iPhone should update it because it's got really new and exciting features. So once you have this, just make sure you have enough battery. I've got 68% and it's about 50% so we can update it and go ahead and click download and install. It asks you for your password, input the password and let it do the install. At this stage, you'll be presented with the terms and conditions. All you need to do is agree it. So once when you agree the terms and conditions, the update will be requested. And as soon as the update is available, it'll start downloading. Because this update is used, so you need a stable internet connection and you need your battery to be charged. So you'll see the icon spinning over here and it'll represent that the operating system is being downloaded. Now, at this moment, because of my internet connection, I'm getting 18 minutes from start to end of the download process. So while my iPad is getting updated, I just wanted to tell you that what my thoughts are about the new iOS 14. So I think that iOS 14 for the iPad, it's more geared towards the Apple Pencil because I was watching the keynote and in that they were emphasizing on the scribbling feature. You can write with your Apple Pencil and then it automatically converts it into text, which is excellent. And same goes with text messages. You know the bar in the text message, you can just write over there and then it'll automatically turn into text. So I think that it's on the iPad, it, yes, the widgets are one thing, but it's more geared towards the Apple Pencil and taking notes. Because in the keynote, if you notice that Apple is pushing more towards the new iPad Air and the iPad which has just been launched. Um, I have the iPad 12.8, uh, which is the third generation, I think so and it's still doing a brilliant job. It doesn't have the multiple camera system because I'm not going to use it for taking photographs. Uh, but the main thing is that because iPad is marketed as a product which is sort of a replacement of a laptop as for the competitors, that is why iOS 14 with the iPad is a perfect combination of technology and you know ease of use, delivering excellent performance for the user. So let's see the iPad and let's check out the iOS 14. So after the OS has been downloaded, it'll say preparing update over here and you just have to wait a few minutes and after this, it will basically restart. You'll see a progress bar and you can start using your iPad as normal. So once when it's downloaded, it will give you an option of install now. And at this stage, all you have to do is click the install now button and it'll say verifying update and just wait and see the magic then. So at this stage, the iPad will restart and you can see a progress bar over here. After, after this progress bar is completed and the installation is fully done, the iPad will restart and from there on, you can just use it as normal. So once when your iPad is updated, it'll give you a software update prompt and it'll say your iPad has been updated to iPad OS 14. Here you can just unlock it and start using it. So let's unlock it and let's check out the different features. So the first thing is that I get this prompt. It says refresh widgets. All I have to do is click OK and I'll take off my Apple Pencil and start using it. It'll say allow widgets from the weather to use the location. So click OK. So the first major change which I've noticed on my iPad is that the weather widget has popped up over here and then we have the calendar over here and I've got my pictures over here. I'm not going to go into the detail how to set them up but I can tell you 
that I was waiting for iPad OS 14 and iOS 14 on my iPhone for two reasons. So iPad OS 14 is packed with so many different features, but there are two features which I was waiting for and I'm really excited about it and I'm going to show you what they are. The first feature is the redesigned widgets. So the redesigned widgets are the home widgets. Over here you have your weather, your calendar and your picture. I know that you can change this because I've seen the pictures on the Apple website. And the second is your writing to text. So I'm gonna check that out and see if that really works. So I'm gonna open up new notes and over here it says find that note powerful search new in this release a top hit that shows you most relevant results anyways what i'll do is i'll create a new note and here i will say if i want to type hi this is momin so what i've done over here i've just typed my name hi this is momin and what i'll do is if i go back and if i try to search over here momin and it'll show me as hi this is moment so you get the idea so now yes that's true that um, text is working so you can literally write on your ipad and it'll search the whatever thing you need to search another thing i've noticed in notes is that uh, over here if i click these three dots i can see that they scan over here now which is a really good feature because I, for me personally I use notes a lot I do not use it for gaming I do not use it for any of the purposes I use it for notes my calendar and for business work so I've got scan over here which is going to be very very helpful and I've got all these different features that you know line in grids move note and so on so I'm guessing that yes notes has been updated I can tell you that there 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 is definitely a change so guys I just noted that scribble is a new feature and it says try now so you can check out scribble over here it says handwrite so you can just write in any of the text fields and it'll convert it into words then you can delete so just for deleting you can just scrub it as I showed you and scribble over a word and as I showed you it'll just delete it off then select select is so easy you can just draw a circle and and it'll select it that's it and insert all you have to do is you just have to you know select it and then just type the new word in it join you add a line and that will basically separate it so yes scribble is a very good feature i think it's in the apple's apple pencil section over here try scribble and uh, yeah it's it, it, it's it's fantastic so guys another thing which i've noticed in the notes is that over here in the bottom bar you have a pencil which says a for automatic maybe with this new pencil as soon as i write start writing with my uh, apple pencil it converts it into text so i'm just gonna write over here hey check out my youtube channel so yes i did make some mistakes so i'm just going to circle it out or I'm, i can just scribble it and then i can write youtube and that should put the word over there and that is really cool so this is just a demo guys i mean you will definitely make use of it and that is why i was so excited for the ipad os 14. the two features which i said which i was excited about are one is the home widgets and the second is using my apple pencil with apple pencil there's a new feature called scribble so in anything say if i would open up uh, maps i'm just going to write over here coffee shops so as soon as i write coffee shops it's just picked up coffee shops and i can just go ahead and click and it'll show me coffee shops around my area so that is pretty cool scribble i'm really enjoying this feature it's absolutely brilliant because it converts your handwriting into type text and that is something which will which will be really helpful and which will make me use my ipad more and more i know there's apple fitness and all those features are coming in but to be honest i'm not very focused into that let's see if they've made any calendar changes apparently i don't see any change and if i go into stocks so that's pretty much the same let's see if they've made any changes to the app store uh, that seems to be a bit refreshed and then let's go into reminders i think reminders has been updated it says assign reminders smart suggestion a lot more and over here what i can do is i can go into today 
and I can set up a new reminder. So let's see if my um, if my writing with map or pencil does convert it into text. Um, I need to meet the doctor urgent appointment oh so that's a mistake so yeah so if I circle it it just selects it I can scribble it and it'll just disappear now that is really good so that makes sense that in iOS 14 it's more geared towards your Apple pencil and your iPad where you can use it more and it does make sense instead of using the keyboard so yes definitely uh, there has been a significant change in this version of the is 14 and i also feel that the clock has become different so the numbers seem to be a bit more bold and the today's widget if i scroll down it's giving me these circular green so it's giving me these green circles showing me the battery uh, on the uh, different devices so that's the apple pencil and that's the ipad and it says uh, see what's new in iPad OS 14 and apart from that it's definitely it there seems to be a lot of change to it so I'm just going to go into settings and see if they made any changes to it over here so apparently I don't see any changes let's see if they've added any new wallpapers so apparently there is no change to the wallpapers so definitely guys there must be a lot of features as Apple has said in OS 14 uh, but for me personally I wanted these two features my home uh, widget the today's widget that is really important and I'm really waiting for iOS 14 for my iPhone so I can update it and start using it and secondly is making use of the Apple Pencil alright guys um, I'm just gonna wrap up my video now um, and if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below and if you're planning to update your iPad OS 14 uh, go ahead go for it because I'm listening a lot of uh, rumors on Twitter and on the news medias as well um, that um, iPad OS 14 was just a sudden launch and developers didn't get time to update their apps but I think that's a fallacy um, they must have given a lot of time but I'm not sure I'm not a developer uh, but if you would want to update it uh, just make sure you back up your data and go for it uh, I'm really enjoying it and uh, the features which I wanted it for my day-to-day -day use they have made more sense so um, yeah I'm gonna start using it and I, if there is any update on it I'll let you guys know and guys thanks for watching and stay safe and take care see you in my next video bye for now